Hi there, violinists of YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be exploring how to get a good sound on the violin. I'm gonna guide you step by step on what I think should be a good sound and my approach to providing and creating a good sound. Stick around to the end of the video for this tutorial. Also, if you're new to my community, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. I do a lot of violin content, classical music content on this channel. And if you're not subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Making a good sound is actually not as hard as you think. Usually a lot of violinists, a lot of beginner violinists, they try too hard to make a, a good sound on the instrument. However, less is more, and if you feel more relaxed, the louder your sound will get, the better you'll actually play your instrument. The first thing I wanna talk about is your posture. Having a good posture while you're playing the violin is very important. And typically speaking, when you don't, when you lift your shoulder up various ways, it's not, the no most natural way to stand up. So you wanna make sure that you are being as natural as possible and all you do is just put the violin up as so. And the, the more you move, the more you try to you know fix the, the violin posture, actually the worse it's going to get. So see if you can talk to your teacher and use this video as a reference for you to figure out what is the right posture for you. Once you figure that out, I want you to put your violin up and I want you to relax your hand and the bow on the string. And a lot of times beginners will think that, oh, I need to make sure I'm holding the violin bow as, grip, as tight as I can so that way I can keep it afloat. But as a matter of fact, if you really think about it, the, the bow is falling down on the violin and the violin is breaking the bow's fall. So as long as you're providing enough grip, you know, not grip as in tense or tension, but you are just holding the bow in, in a way that'll just rest, let, let, uh, let the bow rest on the string, then you're gonna get a nice good sound. One more thing that I want to encourage you to do is to breathe during the process. Inhaling, exhaling, you know, it is not natural to hold your, hold your breath while you're playing a violin because all the tension builds up in, in this area here in the upper torso. So if you, you know, if you're not breathing and you know, you're just trying to play, your body will feel tense, not just your upper torso, but everywhere else. Let's move on to the next thing. We got the posture, we got the, the ability to hold the bow, hold the violin up. Now I want you to bend your knees, and I know you can't see my screen, of course, and you should have a nice, relaxed balance on both legs. And you don't wanna squeeze your, squeeze your knees so much, and that'll actually help you stay grounded and for you to provide a good sound. And once you've established that, when you actually make a sound, you want not just to breathe in, but to breathe out. Exhaling will release all the tension in your body for you to create a nice, beautiful sound. Now, let me demonstrate how this process works. It kind of happens all simultaneously, and I'm gonna do this a couple times for you to actually follow along. So what I do is once I have my violin you know, in place, I have my fingers set on the left hand and the right hand. I take a deep breath and I breathe out and I let my knees help me with the process of pulling a sound. Now, I want you to notice that I used the word pull. I did not say press. If we press, you're gonna get a very aggressive sound and that is no good. And what I'll do, I'll use the gentle cushion of the bow hair to provide that sound for me. So it's not, you know, you can definitely use more bow hair if you're playing something loud, um, such as like a concerto, or if you need to project inside a big concert hall, you use a lot of hair. But in this case, for this exercise, see if you can let, you might even be able to see it here. There you go, there's my angle. It's not so much where the stick is over the bow hair, but ever so slightly so you get that edge, you get that nice cushion. And I want you to bounce that bow hair on the string. And then, and we're gonna, we are going to rotate our shoulder in an oval motion. And then in combination with the good posture, with the breathing and the cushion of the bow hair, we're gonna play a note. so on and so forth, right? I'm just 
fiddling around. <laughs> Don't unsubscribe to that really lame joke. <laughs> but it's really not that hard. I mean, the reason why soloists have this beautiful sound is because they have perfected this, you know? It's just a bunch of basics that they have perfected throughout a long period of time, and there's no reason why you can't do it either. Let's review. Make sure that you have good posture with the violin, make sure that you have a good bow grip so that way you're not squeezing or tensing or doing anything crazy like that. Make sure your knees are bent. Use your right shoulder to create an oval motion to create a nice, beautiful sound. And last but not least, this is something that I didn't mention before, but the sound of the violin goes upward. It does not go sideways. So that's why we're trying to teach you how to create that motion of the bow going up. And that is going to help you get a lot more resonance and a lot more volume into the end of the concert hall. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. What are some of your struggles in creating a good, beautiful violin sound? I want to get a conversation going in the comment section. I respond to every single comment. So please feel free to um, leave a comment and I'll, I'll definitely respond back. Please hit the like button because that helps other people like you find out what this video is all about and to help them and also subscribe, hit the bell notification so that way you get more of these kinds of videos in your inbox. Also, I'm offering a free intro to violin course down in the description below. It is free. All you gotta do is sign up with your first, last name and your email for you to get a hold of this course. And what this course does is explain what it takes to actually start the violin. It's not a violin playing course per se, but you get the tools on how to find a good teacher, what, whether you should rent or buy a violin. So that way you're not making a wrong decision. You know, you're probably on the fence whether or not you wanna start playing the violin full time or you wanna get more interested or more serious. This, I hope this course will be for you. And um, I'm always looking for suggestions, so please uh, email me or leave a message on my website at ericmangala.com slash contact and I'll hear from you. Thanks so much. And again, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to watch some other videos that are here to help you. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.